I don't know what a cream pie is. Oh. Let's all watch you Google it. Oh, it's just coming up with the story about that woman in the Northern Territory <laughs> that got hit in the face with a cream pie. <laughs> <laughs> I could put it into Urban, Urban dictionary. dictionary. It says cream pie, a food. Oh, that looks yummy. Mm. I love cream pie. Oh. Oh. Do they put it in a sentence? He came inside me so much it felt like it was drooling out the perfect cream pie. I'd like to take back what I said. If someone you know becomes a father, don't do to them what my mum did to me. Is it actually that bad? I want you to experience as I, how I experienced it. I just had a sip of coffee and mum messaged me and as I had the sip, I looked at my phone and I okay. want to know if you react the same way I did. So you got a coffee cup there? Yeah. Have a sip and then read what my mum sent to me. <laughs> That's the same thing I did. This is how you know your wife is too hot for you. This is from Tanner. My wife is so much better looking at me that a cashier at the supermarket put a plastic divider in between our groceries. <laughs> and then he goes, no, we're together. And the guy goes... He goes, sure, mate. <laughs> I love people learning about Australia. I was married. We were together for nine years and we had two little Have boys. You seen this? But when our boys were six weeks old, my husband had a terrible accident. Um, it was a really, really hard time in my life. Um, he tripped and fell and landed in his co-worker's vagina and he's still stuck there. <laughs> that kills me every time I see it. My husband and I both have Apple Watches and one night we were getting it on when suddenly we heard a voice that wasn't either of us. My husband and his watch had called someone. See, there is danger in calling out the wrong name. because <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I would have just called his phone. But she's called out Roger instead of Chris and it's called <laughs> Roger from work. Hey, Roger, I'm getting rogered. <laughs> we were both in shock. We were both in panic. But we were soon both really curious. Sexually? No. Like who oh, did... for who called? Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Or like who did we call? Yeah. Yep. It turns out it was one of the people who work at our church. Praise be. While my husband was doing me missionary, he called a missionary. <laughs> <laughs> this one Australian bloke has been embarrassed internationally by how lame his lock screen is. Imagine being international news about how lame your lock screen is. His lock screen is a screenshot from his notes and it's obviously like a bit of a reminder to like, he's left himself a bit of a note to like keep grinding and keep hustling and oh, like that's really sweet it's actually, actually. F not. oh okay <laughs> <laughs> okay sorry it's so lame he lost oh, it I think that's really wait nice. till I read the things okay sorry <laughs> sorry sorry sorry, sorry. F bitches get money and I'm like oh Yo, you've, you've seen the article <laughs> 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 Let me read them out. You're joking me. Number one, get jacked. Have $25,000 in bank account. Have three girls on roster at all times. <gasps> no! Get better at fighting. <laughs> what? <laughs> so this girl's caught this amazing fish, uh, but all people are talking about is how incredibly she's pulling off this bathing suit. The top comment yeah. <laughs> is mine would be seal clapping. <laughs> or, or, or. Taylor said, if I was given that swimsuit, I'd have to tuck mine up inside itself and just hope for the best. <laughs> Double-sided tape. <laughs> <laughs> Ali said, if I wore that in the wind, it would sound like a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, catch of the day, more like snatch of the day, am I right? <laughs> I don't think anybody realizes how hard it is for women to work in the postal service. It's such a male-dominated industry. 
<laughs> what a fucking legend. Fuck, that's a great pun. But the delivery. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I mean, yes, I'm hilarious. I'm very <sighs> quick and funny. <laughs> Americans pay for petrol before they fill up the tank. <laughs> How much do you need? Okay, What's this, it going to cost? This is gonna fuck you up. So <laughs> I, put this, <laughs> I put this on Twitter last week and I said, How much do you put in? And this lady replies, goes, You just sort of guess. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> we aren't going next year. We're never going. Flight's cancelled. <laughs> no, there's just no way I can deal with that kind of anxiety. Even if we don't have cars because we yep. don't live there? <laughs> no. What you if... refuse to get an Uber because <laughs> what if we need petrol? <laughs> <laughs> I anonymously reported the company I work for, wrote them up, and the head of that company is my brother-in-law, who is a massive misogynistic piece of shit. Good. You f*** that guy up. Snitchy Tarpa says they were overworking people. <gasps> they were underpaying people. <gasps> they were bullying and intimidating people. And they, and here's, the, they were allowing unsafe medical practices to occur. What's this business? <laughs> yeah. Hang on, what? The company faced massive fines, so large they went bankrupt and closed. Well, no thank, one thank in God, though. No one in my family knows I was the one who snitched on them. <sighs> She's brought the company down. Someone who listens to our show has anonymously sent this in. I fly kicked the toddler and it was morally correct. <laughs> I was babysitting a one-year-old and a four-year-old. The mother says, make sure the one-year-old doesn't take its first steps without us. <laughs> She's getting pretty close. Okay. As soon as the parents left, the one-year-old looked me dead in the eye, stood up and started walking towards me. I could hear the four-year-old, the little pitter-patter of feet in the next room and it was about to come into this room. And people who have four-year-olds know, there's no don't tell, nah. there's no secrets, they're f***ing narcs, they're yeah. snitches. The second you say don't tell, it, the words come out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So just as the four-year-old's walking into the room, she fly kicks the one-year-old off his feet onto his back. The baby starts crying. She feels horrible. I got a text message the next day from the mother. He just took his first steps. It was Good. so beautiful. Good. I'm a Scottish policewoman and I've been stuck with the most embarrassing nickname for nine years after a workplace incident. Oh. We raided a brothel. When I asked one woman the question we have to ask anyone, you know, is there anything that might hurt me in your pocket? You know how they kind of ask that oh, question? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was a bit sheepish, which should have been a clue. And she said, well, no, but it, it might bite. I asked her to bend over, spread her legs and cough and bang! A dead rodent flew across the cell and at speed I didn't even know was possible. So have you just kinked your neck? Yeah. The lady yelled out, oh, Nibbles, no. Turned out Nibbles was the name of the gerbil that a client liked to include in the service. If you're watching this video, uh, tag someone with a f nickname, include that nickname, and in the comments, we'll all try to figure out yeah, how they got it. No context. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm in tears. The baker said she misread the customer's text asking for an Elmo cake and instead made an Emo cake, oh. but realised at the last minute and tried to improvise. <laughs> I can save this. Yeah, she went... <laughs> Oh, my God. No, nah, we're good. We're good. This is fine. So I'm going to show you this emo Elmo cake. <laughs> <laughs> I got some big news today, but my mom is dead. So can you guys just pretend to be my mom for a minute? Okay, so guess what? <laughs> I officially got hired in the ER. Um, Mid-shift LP. Oh. <laughs> that is really... <laughs> that is... <laughs> Ready? And give us a twirl. Turn. Yep. Yay. Ooh. Look at... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, oh f*** mum. That's the pre previous video to the other one. That's how she died. <laughs> Between my wife who gave birth to our child yeah. 
and me, who do you think needed the most medical attention? And before you answer, I'm not good with blood. Blood and I never been mates. I really want to say that Bridget needed more attention than you she did. Was fine. She did pretty well, actually. Yeah, what a trooper. Yeah. Okay. Bridget was squeezing my hand, oh. and you know how I've got a fake finger? I'm going to have to get that reinserted because it's <laughs> my hands are just trash. You can reinsert so, your finger. But, You're a dad now. Yeah. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm white as a ghost. And they sit me down in the chair and, like, lean me back. How embarrassing. As if you couldn't deal without the attention for five minutes. And the doctor is, like, between Bridget's legs doing what she needs to do. And she looks over to me and I'm thinking she's going to say, like, it happens all the time. Don't worry about it. Yeah. And she just looks over at me and goes, that's so embarrassing for you. (laughs) (laughs) Australians do things that people in the USA do not. Okay. Chant what comes next, all right? Here yeah. in Australia, we're finishing up happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, dear someone. Happy birthday to you. Hip, hip. Hooray. Hip, hip. Hooray. They don't do that. What? They don't do the hip, hip, hooray. So they don't have fun there. No, they don't <laughs> have fun wrong. in the USA. Don't Without we... the hip, hip, it's just singing a stupid f-ing song. Some would argue it's just a super f-ing song anyway. I'm a hip hipper. Yeah, yeah, you would be. It's like alpha dog energy, <laughs> don't you think? It's the biggest flex, not, I reckon. Not only are you the muscles of this podcast, you are the, the alpha official, dog the and official, official hip hipper hip of, of this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put that on my LinkedIn. <laughs> 50% of people get freaked out by this. Yeah. The other 50%, us normal ones, think this is normal and just the obvious thing to do. Mmm. The other day, we were leaving Vic Garden Shopping Centre. Oh! Yep. And Tony says, oh, do you need to go to the pay station to pay for parking? Because you put the little ticket in, it tells you how much it is. Yep. What a waste of time. I was like, nah, you just tap your card when you exit. Tony had a complete meltdown. Our <laughs> washing machine, right? It got the song that the washing machine plays. The song? Oh my I actually have it recorded. Why? I because I was gonna show it to you ages ago and then <laughs> and then I guess I thought that's not interesting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and you weren't wrong. Are you kidding me? Every time the washing machine is finished, that whole thing plays. It goes for 31 seconds. I wish I could last as long as your washing machine (laughs) song lasts for. Well, the same white foamy stuff comes out. (laughs) Some American bloke called Kurt. Cool name. Thinks Australians are f***heads because we write the date, day, month, year. But we down here, we know that anyone who writes month, day, year... You're the f- it. It doesn't make sense. Day, month, year is smallest to largest. Yeah, it's in order. Yeah, like it makes the most sense. Like Obviously someone has sat down and, and decided. Said, How can we make America as f***ing annoying as possible? Here's what we'll do. We won't use the metric system. We won't use degrees Celsius. And we'll go month, day, year, and that'll just f*** over and off. And it's really confusing when artists announce tour dates. Yep, I'm doing Vegas, 8 slash 10. Yeah, oh. When the f*** is that? Am I seeing you in August or October? That was quick. That was good. That was quick. That was good. That was really good. good. That's impressive. How did I do that? Lying mother sends her confession. There are only four tins left of my daughter's baby formula. And they're on sale, so I took them all. Yep. I forgot they have a limit of two tins per purchase. Oh, uh, yeah. And when I scanned all four, beep, 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 and oh, then the lady comes over. Oh, yeah, because they're really serious about that, aren't they? The lady says, two cans per purchase. Yep. My initial reaction without thinking was, I have twins. Oh! oh. A blatant f***ing lie. The sweet lady... Went, oh, really? And then she put my additional two tins through another machine so it wouldn't beat them off and then added the discount code and the thing and was really lovely about it and then got the docket back and paid through. It was so lovely. I now carry a picture of some random twins I found on Google in my purse in case she ever asked me about them. 
Okay, well that's <laughs> just she did a butterfly painting, <laughs> folded it over. And it's They're the same identical, baby. but like it's a the mirror, mirror image. image <laughs> there is a Facebook group called Catholics Against Seedless Watermelons. <laughs> There's fifteen thousand people in it. What? I know. But somebody has taken a screenshot of that mm. and the screenshot that they've, like, pasted it with is a group called Seedless Watermelons Against Catholics. <laughs> <laughs> and there's 25,000 people oh, in that. Oh, come back. <laughs> so it's literally like the two oh, pasted together. Mick says, I once accidentally slapped a seagull into a cafe. <laughs> <laughs> This story kills me so much. Oh, don't. I hate being the one that doesn't get it. What did you say? You know how something's like in your peripherals and you yeah. don't know like, is it an insect? Oh, is it a bird? Like <laughs> I saw something in the corner of my eye and my first reaction was to swat at it. I accidentally made really good contact with it and slapped it, <laughs> and slapped it through the open door. <laughs> Of a small but busy cafe. <laughs> and it was like a bomb went off. <laughs> the chaos was unimaginable because I was on the outside of the cafe. It was like I was at the zoo looking through the glass at a stampede. <laughs> My parents had both passed away and my siblings and I were cleaning out their place and I was allocated the bedroom. Oh. I found my dad's camera bag and he had an envelope of Polaroid pictures. Oh, dad. Curiosity got the better of me. <sighs> but when I opened up, I got a face full of my mum's <laughs> as she was naked as the day she was born on her hands and knees with her rear end up in full view. <laughs> <laughs> I instantly oh. recognised the sofa from my childhood home <laughs> and let out a scream and threw the envelope away. I just stood in silence. The image of my mum's clam forever burned into my memory. I haven't seen that since the day I was born. <laughs> Not going to lie, it did raise so many questions. Did I just witness a snapshot of my own conception? Snapshot. <laughs> Sarah asked normal or nah. Hi, Sarah. When eating an Asian out, do you normally eat one each or does everyone get something and you all share? When eating an Asian out? That didn't sound right, did it? Asian takeout, maybe? When you're eating out, eating Asian out. When you're eating Asian out? <laughs> Oh, wow. God, I, grandma is so important. I recently <laughs> ate out a group of friends, uh, but they all got their own and, like, didn't share. Oh, that's so weird. It is weird. Asian is designed for sharing. I was super disappointed, says Sarah. I agree. And because you always want, like, a little bit of everything. I love that we're both doing this with our hands because that's what it is. Well, the the universal sign for if you go, oh, should we get an Indian? Yeah, let's just. To share. And you just do the hand. Yeah, I think that's so normal. This photo made me and piss myself. It's on the back of a like Subaru Forester car mm -hmm. and it's a bumper sticker and it says, please be patient, I'm nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> How could you get mad at them? <laughs> if you know someone who's recently got married, share this with them. This is some advice from my grandma. The three magic words of marriage are please, thanks, and sorry. When you're wrong, own up. And when you're right, shut up. <laughs> Eric and I had 68 years of wedded bliss. We never considered divorce, but sometimes we considered murder. <laughs> <laughs> Were you expecting to hear the word murder? I wasn't. No. Um, and I thought that... It would rhyme. Sorry, Betty. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm like, don't know why Betty didn't make that rhyme. It doesn't rhyme. What do you mean? Well, you said it was a poem. It's poems like, don't have to rhyme. I think that a poem by definition rhymes. No. Grandma has some feedback on your feedback. Um, Tony, roses are red, violets are blue, so fuck off, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> it's called a simple human and it's like a bin. Right, like a trash can. Yeah. And then it looks like it's being sold in like a... a simple human. It's called Simple Human. I'm about to send you a, a picture. Yeah. I don't get it because everyone's like, oh, it took me way long, too long to realise. Because it looks like 
a person standing next to a bin. With a huge cock. Yeah, and that says, oh, wait till you, when you figure it out, but I can't figure it out. It just looks like a huge cock. I can't figure it out either. Well, if that's not a big cock, then what is it? What is it? But it's like... Oh, what am I? Oh, hang on, our producer Cam, are you what? Are you looking at this? What? It, what is it? That's a hole for a cat. That's a hand carrying hole carved into the box. Oh, it's a hole in the box. Oh, fuck me! Oh my god! Oh. Fuck! Luckily yeah. we've got you here. We would have sat here for forty-five minutes. I would have sat here all day. My girlfriend's grandma died and it was my job to pick up the ashes from the crematorium. On the way home, I stopped for a quick beer or two at the pub. No, that it, nah, that's not a that's an A to B job. That's not an A, B, C. Oh, maybe pop to the shops. That's an A to B job. I accidentally left the ashes on the table at the pub and didn't realise till I was already on the bus on the way home. Phone, keys, wallet, ashes. Every time. <laughs> How hard is it to... Every morning, my girlfriend kisses the box on the mantelpiece and says, I love you, Gran. Oh, my and God. I don't have the heart to tell her she's been idolising for years a box filled with almond flour. He didn't think to fill it with granulated sugar. <laughs> so anonymous fabulous gay has a golf ball-sized hemorrhoid and he says, I have a really good relationship with my doctor, but I also suffer from random boners. And as soon as he touched me, I was more firm than a politician's handshake. <laughs> I tried to cover it, like, because he's laying on his stomach, so he's yeah. sort of like, oh, I'll just fold it up underneath. And I but made... he's in the air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a table leg. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to make a small joke to lighten the mood. I said, oh, doctor, better lube me up before you smash in the back doors. <laughs> yeah. But then the doctor said, seems like you're enjoying it either way. No. <laughs> that is f- amazing. I laughed so hard that with my cheek spread and my doctor's face right in my butt, I accidentally farted a nuclear bomb point blank into my doctor's face. I instantly lost my accidental boner and I'm never going back to that doctor again. You know how you make a fart not make any noise? You spread your cheeks apart. First of all, never say that and use the hand. Yeah, no, don't. You don't need to show me how that. No, don't. No. <laughs> uh, is that true though? Yes. So if you're doing a fart, yeah. and you pull your like cheeks apart and like open up your asshole like this. Sorry, I can't stop doing the hands. Please. But if you do, oh, um, if you do that, <laughs> <laughs> the fart won't make any noise. It just go. Are you sure? Because, like, you've got a little pucket asshole. Like, it, like it, that's what makes the noise. Not Don't you. Say- I'm saying you, the royal uh, you. Uh, not- you got a little pucket little asshole. If you just... <laughs> Sorry, saying- I can't stop saying <laughs> pucket little asshole and I can't stop doing <laughs> that. I actually can't look at you right now or I'm going to start crying. There, that is how you do a part with no noise. <laughs> I'm not looking at anyone. My hands are on my head. I didn't say pucket it's little no asshole. No more hands <laughs> 